Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe, and today I'm going over top five credit cards for everyone in 2022. I created this list with a consumer perspective in mind, so I hope it will be relevant for most of you out there. So whether you are a beginner in credit cards or whether you have multiple credit cards already and still looking to apply for more credit cards because you want to max out your cashback rewards or points back. So if that's what you're interested in, please stay until the very end of this video. I hope you will get a ton of value out of this. So now let's get started. The first card in my list is Bank of America Cash Rewards Card. I have been using this card since 2014, so it's been over 8 years and I like the features of this credit card. And the first thing is that there is no annual fee for this card. What's special about this card is the flexibility in cash rewards. You have the freedom to choose 3% cashback category of your choice. It can be gas, online shopping, dining, travel, drug stores, or home improvement and furnishings. You also get 2% cash back in wholesales and grocery purchases and 1% on everything else. I personally said 3% for online shopping because I usually shop online and recently when I bought MacBook Pro M2 and I got over $70 in cash back because I set 3% as online shopping category. Which is pretty cool right because $70 is a lot in cash back. This card also comes with low intro offer which is 0% APR for 18 months. Currently it's offering $200 in cash back when you spend $1000 in 90 days of account opening which is quite doable for most of us. What's unique about this card is that you can request for a credit line increase without affecting your credit score. The reason is that it consider credit line requests as soft inquiry so it doesn't hurt your credit score. Just something to keep in mind. And the next credit card in my list is Chase Freedom Flex. This is the card that came out recently after eliminating the good old OG Chase Freedom card. You can no longer apply for Chase Freedom card if you were to apply for Chase credit card, but you have the freedom to choose Chase Freedom Flex. Freedom. This card doesn't have annual fee as well. What's special about this card is that it has 5% cash back in rotating categories for up to $1,500 in combined purchases. And in order to get that 5% category, you will need to activate that on Chase mobile app every quarter. For example, from July to September 2022, its 5% categories include gas stations, rental car agencies, movie theaters, select live entertainment, with the increased gas prices in 2022, you can at least get back 5% of your gas purchases, which is quite worth it. In other words, you are getting 5% discount on all gas purchases up to $1,500 in this quarter. You also get 3% back in dining and drugstore purchases and 1% on everything else. With this card, you also get a complimentary 3 months of Dash Pass, which is the DoorDash membership and you can get $0 delivery fees and reduced service fees with the membership, which is quite worth it. You also have the opportunity to get 5% back on lift rides through March 31st, 2025. This card also has 0% APR for 15 months, which is quite convenient, but however, you should not be splurging on unnecessary items with credit cards. I have never seen such a great credit card with zero annual fee and 5% back on rotating categories. And there are other benefits like cell phone protection, purchase protection, and so much more. If you're thinking about applying for a new credit card and have not applied for Chase credit card, then I would definitely recommend this card. The sign up bonus offer for Chase Freedom Flex is $200 back after spending $500 in the first three months of account opening, which is quite doable for most of us. Plus, there is an additional offer of 5% back on gas station purchases for up to $6,000 in the first year, which is an insane deal and you can't find anywhere else. And also, it's quite worth it to have cash back on the increasingly high gas prices. These are the great offers from Chase Freedom Flex. With that 5% back on up to $6,000 in gas purchases, 
you had the opportunity to get up to $300 in cash back in gas purchases and that $300 will be literally free money for you. But I just want to let you know that I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before making any financial decisions. And the next card in my list is Amazon Prime Visa card. This card will be relevant to people who regularly shop on Amazon and Whole Foods because you'll be getting 5% back on all of those purchases. If you see it another way, you are getting 5% discount on Amazon and Whole Foods purchases, which is quite amazing. There is no annual fee for this card, but there is a catch. You need to have an eligible Prime membership, which usually costs around $139 per year. If you spend over $2,780 in Amazon and Whole Foods purchases, then the cashback that you get from those purchases, which is the 5%, will be able to pay off that yearly membership of $139. With this card, you also get 2% back on drugstores, restaurants, and gas stations, and 1% on everything else. Since Amazon Prime card does not have foreign transaction fees, you can turn this card into a semi travel credit card. It also comes with purchase protection, extended warranty, and other travel insurance, which you can see it right here. Overall, in my opinion, this is a great card if you shop a lot on Amazon and Whole Foods in a year. And the next in my list is Chase Sapphire Prefer card. This is one of my favorite travel cards. And the reason is that Chase points are easy to understand and basically, one Chase Ultimate Rewards point, or in short, one UR point is equivalent to one cent in cash value. And also, Chase Ultimate Rewards points have so many resources that you can see, and also you can track how much have you spent and how much have you earned in terms of cash rewards. So you might ask, who is this card for? So this card is ideal for people who travel at least once a year or at least eat out twice a month. And like other three credit cards that I just mentioned, this card has an annual fee of $95. In terms of points back, you have the opportunity to earn 5x points on all the travel purchases that you make through Chase Ultimate Rewards portal. You also get 3x points on dining, online grocery purchases, select streaming services, and also you get one point back on all other purchases. In terms of benefits, you have a year worth of Dash Pass subscription that has $120 in value. So with that membership alone, it literally pays off the $95 in annual fee for the first year. Another benefit for Chase Sapphire card is that it has $50 in statement credit for the hotel reservations booked through Chase Ultimate Rewards Portal. So with that $50 in statement credit, you can bring down the annual fee from $95 to just $45. So the key point is you will need to travel every year to make your annual fees worth $45 per year. Currently, it's offering 60,000 bonus points, which is equivalent to $600 in value after spending $4,000 in the first three months of account opening. For this card, it makes more sense to apply when you have a big purchase coming up in a few months down the line so that you can easily meet that $4,000 in spending requirements. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that the sign up bonus offer keeps changing from time to time. I have seen the maximum bonus points offer of 100,000 bonus points, which is equivalent to $1,000 in cash value. So if you want to keep waiting until you have a better offer, then I would recommend it unless you need to apply that Chase Sapphire card right now. So it's quite worth it to wait for the promotional offer so that you can maximize the value you get from this card. This Chase Sapphire Prefer is a great travel card whether you're traveling in the United States or traveling abroad. With the zero foreign transaction fees, you can save to hundreds of thousands of dollars in foreign transaction purchases that you make with this credit card, which is quite convenient. And the fifth card on my list is American Express Gold Card, or in short, MX Gold Card. This card is relevant to 99% of people out there, just because we all need to eat every day. 
whether we are buying groceries or whether we are eating out. This is the best card for grocery purchases and also for dining purchases because of the forex points back on every dollar that you spend. You are also getting 3 x points back on flights purchased with the airline's website or with mx.com. So if you book flights with third party travel websites, then you won't be able to get this 3 x points. And you also get 1x point on all other purchases. It has an annual fee of $250 per year, but if you use the Uber credits and dining credits combined, then you can lower the annual fee from $250 per year to just $10 per year. This is because you are getting $120 per year in Uber cash, which you can use on Uber Eats and also on Uber Rides. You're also getting $120 per year in dining credit, which you can use on Grubhub, Cheesecake Factory, Gold Belly, Wine.com, Mick Bar, and Shake Shack locations. This card doesn't have foreign transaction fees, so you can use this card when you're traveling out of states and save money on transaction fees. Currently, the sign-up bonus for MX Gold Card is 75,000 membership points, which you can get after spending $4,000 in the first six months of account opening. So to meet the hefty $4,000 for the sign-up bonus requirements, I would recommend if you have a big purchase coming up and then you can apply such credit cards to easily meet for the sign-up bonus. And if you're curious to learn more about MX Gold Card and its perks, benefits, I made an in-depth review video and I'll put the link right here and also in the link in the descriptions as well. So you can check it out after watching this video. That's all for now. I hope you get a ton of value out of this video. If that's the case, drop a like down below and also subscribe my channel for more videos just like this. And also let me know in the comments below which credit cards do you have and which cards are you planning to apply next. I would love to know more about it. By the way, I make videos on personal finance, investing and entrepreneurship topics. So if one of those topics interests you, then I would recommend you to subscribe my channel and also hit that notification down below so that you can get updates on my new videos. So thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in the next video.